hello everyone welcome to this video uh, in this video uh, i want to show you the evolution matrix curve and all okay after training your model uh, so that would be a quick video i just want to show you so after training your model you, you can see in this uh, runs folder okay in the train folder uh, there is another uh, like you can say uh, file you will be getting like f1 score uh, then precision recall score okay then confusion matrix uh, score everything you will get okay so if i open this uh, f1 curve suppose okay mm. Now, if I open this image in the new tab, yeah. So this is the F1 uh, curve. Okay, you can see uh, this is the F1 curve. So you can see the evolution matrix in a graph form. Okay, that is the best thing in this yellow V7 and all. So now let's open this uh, precision recall curve. Now just open this uh, in a new tab. Okay, so this is the precision recall curve. You can see, and uh, similar wise you have this confusion matrix also. Okay. So you can see like each and every evolution matrix okay from here even you don't need to like uh, write uh, code from uh, so even you don't need to write uh, code for, for that okay so this is the i had six classes okay so this is the six classes uh evolution uh, sorry this is the six classes uh, so i had six classes okay so it is six classes uh, confusion matrix okay so yeah everything uh, you will get here so yes guys not only confusion matrix there, there are many things okay it has uh, saved inside this uh, words folder like experience folder so you can uh, uh, see everything okay result.txt also like what is the uh, like uh, score and all everything it has saved okay so yes guys this was a quick video i just want to show you like uh, the evolution matrix after training okay how to check and all okay so i think you got the idea so thank you so much guys for watching this video and i will see you next time